Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video. Hope you guys have uh, have a nice weekend here. Um, Want to do this one a little bit different. Not a whole lot of uh, names, um, you know, that moved this week were kind of worthy of a video. And even the last couple weeks, um, you know, just a few little uh, names moving, but nothing too intriguing. But so I ended up on the um, weekend uh, mentoring and questions. Uh, you know, asking some of the things that I, you know, you guys want to see covered. So I'm going to go over a few of those today and just a few other things. So uh, first and foremost, Taj brought up a great point. Um, you know, I obviously I'm going over BAM SEC. Highly recommend it. I believe it's $25 a month. Um, a little bit more user friendly, in my opinion, than SEC.gov. Um, and I'll go over just kind of how it's structured, why I use it, and just a few other things. But um, first things. Obviously, you have the financials, the news, right, the uh, prospectuses. So, um, you know, it's just going to have their, you know, Q1, Q2, Q3, and then their uh, 10K. Um, if it's a, um, whatchamacallit, a foreign issuer, these will not be updated. They'll just do the 10Ks. Um, news, as you guys know, I've been asked this question a little bit. You know, what do I look for? Obviously, it's just kind of news in the last, uh, you know, four or five months. Um, so one of the things too, I do is I get the cash, you know, I try to figure out the cash, um, see if they have any access to, uh, you know, an ATM or a credit line, um, you know, see if they have availability to get some cash, if they can dilute or if they have, you know, a way to get money. If they don't, um, I want to come back here and look at the most recent, um, you know, eight Ks cause a lot of the eight Ks guys, they'll have news of, you know, contracts or agreements and they get some money up front. So in case you missed it last week, um, I know, last week or two weeks ago, take two was one. It was a little bit low on cash. I mean, not desperate. Uh, they had a recent ATM, so that was one thing. But um, if you come to this 8K, uh, you know, they were going to be up to, you know, this agreement that they had was going to be up to $63 million, but it also got $6 million up front. So again, that's not something you'll see in the most recent 10Q, right? Because that 10Q is filed on the uh, August 2nd. This news came out on uh, September 9th. So, you know, when you see a lot of people um, say that, you know, something's low on cash, but, you know, you got to obviously look at the recent agreements to make sure in cases like this that, um, you know, they don't have a little bit coming to them anyways. Um, so uh, one of the things that's extremely handy, you can see the ownership by owners. Um, so VTVT, if you guys know, it's a pretty unique situation. Um, and I'll go over this in a second. So Ron Perlman is a billionaire. I think he's worth four or five billion dollars. This is his company. They own 80% of this company, VTVT. Um, so if we come back here, um, it has, I believe, yeah, I think this is it's a little bit higher, but they own, um, there's about 50 million shares, 51 million shares now. Um, but he owns, if you come down here to his uh, subsidiary, yeah, so they own 47 million shares, which is 81% of the company. Um, so this is actually one of the cases where if you come to uh, Finviz, it's fairly accurate, right? Um, 55 million, and then the float's 8 million because you can see about you know 82% of the company is owned by him. So what does that mean? So if this gaps up, let's just say tomorrow to $3, $3.50, will this trade like an 8 million float? And the question is not necessarily. Um, and why do I say that? So again, in theory, let's say this gaps up on good volume to 350 tomorrow. Um, so he's been buying shares, I mean, forever in this company, if you, you know, kind of scroll down. Um, so these shares, let's just assume that he's bought some shares here this day. Let's say he bought a million shares on the 18th, which was just uh, a few days ago. 
could he sell those? And the answer is no. He is, when you own over 10% of a company, you're considered an insider and you have uh, restrictions. You can't flip the stock when you own over 10%. You have to hold it for six months, which it's not coincidental, guys, that sometimes when you look at these ownership filings that people will own 9.99%, right? Because you're under that threshold. Um, also, when you see people that have that 9.99%, a lot of times they'll get warrants. Um, warrants are not considered, you know, shares, so it's a way around the uh, 10% um, ownership. Um, but let's go back again. So let's, let, I want to touch on this. So, um, you know, VTVT, let's assume it has, you know, 52 million OS. Ron owns, how much was it just so I'm right? 47. So he owns 47 million shares. So what does that mean? So really, you could assume that the float's closer to 5 million. Um, let me see if it has the outstanding shares. Huh? Bear with me for a second, guys. Okay, so there's 58. So sorry. Sorry, I was off on that. So it's 58, he owns 57, so the float would actually be 11 million. So this gaps up to 350, we'll trade like at 11 million. I said not necessarily, let me explain why. Because these shares that he bought on, you know, just a few days ago, restricted. But if you look back here, let's say he bought, let's say he bought 10 million shares this day, which is, he didn't, but in theory. And that was seven months ago. So could he sell these 10 million shares? if it gaps up tomorrow and the answer is yes so why would that not be you know if, if he owns 10 or 47 million it gaps up and let's say he gets rid of 10 million so he owns 37 million well what happened to that 10 million shares well they got dumped on the float right so then the next day let's say it somehow held up the float would actually be 21 million right Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.